today is uh, the split squat. We'll go to a bodyweight example, a kettlebell example, and a barbell example. Um, I really like this exercise. I think it engages the core really well. I think you get a good stretch of the hip flexor and really engages the glutes and hamstrings. Um, so it's a good exercise and it, um, get, it treats the imbalances, it corrects any imbalances front to back as well in terms of glutes, hamstrings uh, and quad differences. Um, so first of all, what I want to do is show you how we do a basic split squat. So the idea being that we have the nice long stride, you're going to push right up into the back foot toe, push your hip forward, make sure you get a good pelvic tilt, so we're squeezing the abs tight here, keep your torso nice and long, nice and tall, and then drop your back knee to the floor. From a front view, what we're trying to do is make sure we keep everything tall and nice and in line. We don't want our knee coming across our body and we don't want our back foot knee tucking underneath. So again, keep it nice and in line, nice strong position from there. Okay, using the kettlebell, we'll hold this overhead. We're going to set, use the arm where the leg is back. So same setup for legs, nice long stride up on your back foot toe. Push your sit forward and up, strong pelvic tilt, hand above head, drop that back knee to the floor. You do five to eight reps each leg, several sets through. You can either use it as part of your warm up or you can use it as a main exercise, um, sets and rep wise within your program. So that's with the kettlebell single side, works balance, so we're going to challenge our core all the time. We can now use a barbell. And then again, the exactly the same setup. Nice long stride. Get the weight above your head. And all we're going to do is drop the back knee to the floor. Keeping the body nice and strong, nice and tall. Strong pelvic tilt. And when we're done, just get the body down safely. So there we have it. Three examples of the split squat. Really engaging the core, get some good mobility around the hips. Enjoy your training. I don't have to do that again, to be honest with you.